before I pile of shit. A pile of shit has a thousand eyes. <laughs> Welcome to an episode of Getting Around to It. I am one of your hosts, Zach Peterson. The other host is right here in front of me. His name is Goodrich Gavart. Why do you want to give away my location right in front of you? <laughs> because they need to know, like, a visual image of the situation at hand. You're too trusting, Zach. I don't it's, trust these people. Okay, no fair enough. where I'm at. My GPS. We have a good rep- reporté, uh, and that was... <laughs> that was a, a little taste <laughs> of you and me having some back and forth. Uh, well, welcome to our podcast, I Get Around To It. This is a podcast where we find one of our comedian friends, uh, figure out a movie they have not seen before that they should have seen at some point. We give them a list, they pick a movie off the list, and uh, they watch it, and then we talk about it. Yeah. Like, how would you define these movies on this list that we gave them? Uh, culturally significant, sure. I guess. Sure. Movies you should have seen, mm. uh, movies that you I don't I haven't I have a lot of gaps in my cultural history, so there's a lot of movies that I haven't seen, and I know I should, so I put some of those in the list, and I'm moving out of living with Kevin Brody. Because <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Brody just straight up ran into a refrigerator. Yeah, <laughs> he was doing one of his infamous "I'm a bull" impressions and <laughs> ran into the fridge. As if we're not producing art right in the living room. <laughs> I didn't know you hated the art so much, Kevin. Yeah, I do. Well, the, uh, the movies on the list, getting back to what we're doing, uh, are not necessarily good movies, the best movies, but movies we feel have some sort of impact on the world we live in or some of our favorites and things like that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, the movie that was picked off the list today uh, was Stand By Me. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, and, <laughs> and the individual who has not seen that movie is... Uh, Lincoln Lodge cast member Tommy McNamara. Hello, folks. What's going on? Hey. Oh, so you've never seen Stand by Me? Like you have, have you never had the opportunity? Never heard about it? Like what's what's I, your fucking problem? I definitely heard of it, and it was one of those movies I always wanted to see, and I just mm-hmm. never had the balls to. You know yeah, what I mean? You know what? You didn't have to put your hard-earned money down. We would ticket taker and say, "Hey, yeah. one for Stand by Me, please," <laughs> because it's still in theaters, which is crazy. I know, right? Yeah. It's had so many decades of just running on megaplexes. Yeah, that's Rob Reiner for you. Yeah, just big blockbusters. He had a good contract. He worked out with the industry. Mm. <laughs> Stand by me. I put it on the list, and the reason I put it on the list uh, was because it is one of my personal favorites. Totally. When uh, when my my dad never let me watch R-rated movies, he was as he shouldn't. A, let yeah, you I watch mean, your I, mind's rotted enough, and you didn't see him. He's yeah. a Christian man. Yeah. He's got these kids mentioned titties, and I was like, "What is that?" Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> 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 but but no, it was one of those movies that. Like I saw a part of once, and then my dad would like leave for a few hours, and I'd watch the movie on the sneak all the time. Ah. Oh, really? Yeah, and I love. How this did he movie. have it? How did you have it on the sneak? Did he have like a bootleg VHS? No, or he had what? a VHS. Oh, okay, like yeah. sanctioned VHS. Not mm-hmm. he wasn't. <laughs> I, it was licensed. I checked. <laughs> oh, <good>. Yeah. <laughs> I Nothing's it. worse for a child than stealing content. <laughs> <laughs> Piracy is the worst to a children's brain. You should write the worst children's book about <laughs> content. <laughs> Uh, this movie directed by Rob Reiner. Rob mm-hmm. Reiner also directed, if you don't know, uh, Princess Bride, Spinal Tap, and other like phenomenal movies. Yeah. Uh, I might be wrong, but did he also direct Spinal Tap, The Final Four, uh, the video short? Yes, and The Story of Us and The Bucket List. Oh, that's crazy. Tommy, how, how do you know so much about this man? I'm a Reiner head. <laughs> <laughs> a Reiner head has not seen Stand By Me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what yeah. a rare breed you are. <laughs> no, it is weird that I hadn't seen it because I love Stephen King. Mm-hmm. I love children. I don't know. There's nothing. You love dead bodies. Love you dead do. bodies. You love peeping them. You do. Yeah. <laughs> you love a greasy kefir? Yeah, I did not. Greasy <laughs> kefir. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my favorite order for brunch. But. Uh, <laughs> No, I actually didn't realize that was him until the credits. I was like, Kiefer Sutherland, holy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, because he, he had like kind of a typecast in this time period where he was just always some f- cool heavy. Yeah. He was like, hey, fuck you, kid. And then he did Lost Boys, which is just a little, little similar, Dude. but vampires oh, after that. Yeah. What if it's the style. same character? Pretty much is. Same I, universe, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. 
Greasy Kiefer. Greasy Kiefer. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hey, uh, speaking of what, uh, Stephen King, uh, yeah, this is a short story called The Body, written by Stephen King. And mm-hmm. I feel like Stephen King movies are better when they're based on short stories and not the full novel. Yeah, because like his novels are... Uh, a thousand pages. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you have the it, you know, the it. The uh, it. Yeah, we yeah. love the it. It, mm-hmm. Carrie, Christine, uh, all those Shelley, things. Shelly. Yeah, Shelly. Old, old, old 70s lady names. <laughs> <laughs> it annoys me that he didn't name it Stand By Me because I also always picture him talking about his book, The Stand, and being like, The Stand, by me. <laughs> 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 by me. By Stephen me. King. Stephen King. <laughs> The drunk. Yeah. <laughs> the drunk. Yeah, didn't he kill a person? Oh, no, he got ran over. He no, got ran yeah, over. He, he got, got hit by a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's all authors do. Yeah. You, you want to put your pen to a page, you're going to pay a penance, buddy. You're yeah. next, Tony Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Yeah. People don't know that song's about hitting authors. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's probably by a George car. Thurgood hit Gore Vidal. <laughs> I just assume it was a, a car that was upset about the portrayals of car and Christine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. You gave us a bad rap, man. Yeah. Get people from place to place. Well, what other Stephen King short story? I know there was that, what was that Johnny Depp one? That was a Stephen King short story. It was like four window, rear window. Oh, secret window. Window fan. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Window fan. <laughs> window, <laughs> window unit. Window yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, th- there was that one, which, wa- which I didn't feel I don't was think that of great. that as a good movie. Uh, but uh, Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank. And Is Green Mile a full novel? Green Mile was released by, uh, in novellas uh, ah. originally, but uh, it's it's I consider just one big long story. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I mean that goes with the other ones, but yeah, I think most of the the best. Let's just say the best Stephen King movies, Stand mm. by Me and uh, Shawshank Redemption, are short stories. Yeah, mm. and then the longer ones are decent. Yeah, I think I've seen Pet Cemetery. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. that's a good movie. It's very scary. Uh, I mean, those things come back to life, and it's like yeah. you don't do it, and people do it anyways. Mm-hmm. Cujo, uh, Silver Bullets, yeah. uh, Dead Zone. They're making a new It that's going to be two movies, which I'm excited yeah. about. Yeah, really. it, it one and It two. Yeah, it's a Doctor Seuss yeah. book. Yeah, oh exactly. boy, it's <laughs> the director is the dude that did True Detective. Yeah, oh, he's good. Fukunaga. Yeah. It's gonna be <laughs> fucked up. It's yeah. gonna be real. Please bleep fucked that up. when I say <laughs> Fukunaga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get into this movie. Like, what what the movie's actually about? Yeah. Okay. All right. So it took place in the fifties. Yeah, good old fifty time. Which uh, I think mm. a lot of movies in the eighties were set in the fifties. <laughs> <it seems laughs> yeah. Like. It was prime time to be like, hey, remember the fifties, thirty years ago? Mm. Now we're in charge. Let's talk about when we were kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird thing. Yeah. Yep. People get old and they're like, ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have to listen to what it was like when no one listened to me. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And we talked about this as watching it, but it wasn't very romanticized. It wasn't romanticized. No, that's 50s, the thing. Like it was. I was thinking maybe it's a subversive take on the fifties because mm-hmm. everyone in this mm-hmm. town is has dead children. Yeah, <laughs> <and> no <laughs> one cares. Yeah, everyone has yeah. dead emotional like relationships. It's kind of like a, a David Lynch thing. I feel like where he shows you like you got this beautiful America, but hey. This dad is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Dude, that dad is the worst. Right? Just, Gordy? Blat- just yeah. blatantly like, you're awful. Your, yeah. your friends yeah. are terrible. Should have been you, Gordy. Should have been you, Gordy. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. that's, uh, uh, Gordy is Will Wheaton's character, the main character of the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, his father is an absolute piece of shit. Oh, he's so mean. Yeah. What, what do you say to him? Oh, yeah. He calls his friends, which I think this is the dumbest things. Uh, he calls them a thief and two thebes. Yeah. What does that mean? A phoebe is short for feeble-minded, as in like retarded. Oh. Yeah. Like he's a. In the fifties, man, that was a zinger. That <laughs> was good. And it rolls off the tongue, right? Yeah. Phoebe. <laughs> oh God. Because when I think of phoebe, I think of hanging out with Rachel and. <laughs> oh Phoebe's yeah, the Phoebe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting a big old cappuccino. Yeah. <laughs> Phoebe's breaking out smelly cat again. Oh, yeah, man. exactly. Classic. Classic. Yes, oh, uh, Denny, uh, Gordy's brother, uh-huh. uh, died. And John that's, Cusack. Yeah, mm-hmm. John, another like fucking just really cool casting. I didn't individual. know he was going to be in this movie at Mm-mm. all. Yeah. He's such a small part, and I, I feel like that was 86, so that was like his height, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, say anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the other ones that he was in that was... Uh, um, oh, I'm sure we have yeah. this. Yeah. Ah, I feel like I should know, but like, yeah, he... Oh, uh, what's the better off dead? Better off dead. dead. Yeah, I was thinking, what's the one with the claymation rock and roll guitar? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's better off dead. 
Well, yeah, I mean, this was like the height of John Cusack. Yeah. You know, his, mm-hmm. his 80s movie. So he's having a small part in that is pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are so many people who are famous now who are in that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, River Phoenix, who's famous and dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Will Wheaton, who was. Uh, what does he do? He was the kid on uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a nerd. Ah, <laughs> oh. <me neither. laughs> well, Will Stryker is his name, right? Will Stryker? Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like a porno name. I have no fucking clue. I'm not a, I'm not a nerd either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, Jerry O'Connell, uh, who mm-hmm. went on to star in the breakout movie Tom Cats. Mm. Uh, Classic role. No, actually, I think his biggest role is probably Sliders. Yeah, that uh, like that short that, with that Fox White Castle uh, documentary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's just a chef. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get around Tommy. And I just want to throw out zingers. Yeah, I don't know what it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I make a point about Jerry O'Connell's character in this? Sure. The character's name is Vern. Vern. He's not that fat. That's what we were talking yeah. about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, the fat kid from Stand By Me. He's not that fat. No, no. no. Everyone else is like white trash rail thin. Yeah. yeah. So like comparatively, he like, uh, has a couple extra pounds. This movie promotes an unhealthy body image for our little boys. Absolutely. Yeah. He's it's 50s true. fat. Yeah. Yeah. Be- because there was no actual preservatives. Like they didn't have the technology yet. Those were actually real food. They couldn't manufacture little fat kids the no, way they do now. they couldn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, had, they had no gushers. You know, That's true. Gogurt? No ju- juicy fruit? No, no Lunchables? Then why do people <laughs> say it was a good time in the country? That's a good question. No Lunchables? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> God. Uh, but yeah, he was not very fat. He was more just an idiot. Oh, I fucking hate Burns. <laughs> oh, I didn't like him, <laughs> yeah. but I just didn't think he was fat. No, <laughs> not at all. But it like started with... The he was a fo- feeb. <laughs> he was a total <laughs> feeb. Classic feeb case. Yeah. He Okay, he, uh, he brought a comb. Like everyone else is like, I brought money for food. I brought yeah. a gun. Yeah. I brought a comb. You fucking idiot, yeah. Vern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never invite Vern to a potluck. No, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I brought chili. I bought a comb. <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? God damn it. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Vern. Yeah, um, and he almost make, kills them on the train tracks when they're crossing the river. Yep. And the, uh, you know, the, the train's coming, and he has to fucking crawl like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. totally. Oh. Which is uh, looking at that was like, oh, that's what I would have done. <laughs> I was such, such, such a scared little boy oh. at all times. I would have been the Vern, like, um, can I crawl, please? The worst part of watching them vicariously for me was when they're climbing fences. I hate climbing fences. Really? Me too. Anymore. Yeah. That's like the best part of adulthood is I never get into situations where I have to <laughs> climb fences. <laughs> yeah. No. Never. No time in my 20s have I had a friend be like, hey, you want to hop into this fucking auto right? place that's closed up? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could go to a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fence bar. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I was born in America. I don't have to climb fences. Okay, Ooh. folks. Topical. Okay. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get Finally. This here. is what this podcast is really yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then also, last, lastly, the last character uh, boy is uh, Corey Feldman. Who had mm. Coke voice from, like, Eight years old. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, dude, you want to do some rails? <laughs> like, as a child, is predestined to be doing lines. He's the insane rest of his person. Life. He is self fulfilling yeah. prophecy. <laughs> totally. What was his name? Eddie. Would yeah. yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it wasn't Eddie. It could have been so. It could have been anything. Yeah. Who knows? Teddy. Yeah, Teddy. But they're all somehow like very aware of their lot in life. Like mm-hmm. his dad's got PTSD from Normandy, which you don't shut up about. Yeah. And then the other guy. He's like, I know I'm stupid. I know his dad beats him all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are some emotional children. Right? Well, God. I, w- I, w- I was thinking about, okay, uh, th- I'm going to get real fucking pedantic about this stupid-ass Ooh. movie. It's not stupid. I mean, I'm just... I'm, but, but uh, you know, there's that scene where he goes and to buy food at that gas station. And yeah. Then, uh, he has that conversation with the clerk, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's and like it's, it's that sort of situation where you know like the whole moral of the thing is going to come in play because mm-hmm. there's no actual other reason for that scene to actually happen. Yeah, and the the clerk goes, uh, "In the midst of life, we are in death." You know, he's quoting the Bible. Yeah, he's talking yeah. about it. But w- what this movie's like, I think, seems to be about is l- the loss of innocence while moving into adulthood. Uh, from being a child to being a man, mostly masculinity, because this is mm-hmm. all men. Oh, There's totally. one yeah. woman in the entire movie with a line. 
Who is it? It's the waitress going, Who, who's sliding off chair bombs back here? Yeah. <laughs> the waitress who's the 1950s incarnate. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she has one line, and what a line. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> pivotal, pivotal scene. And, mm. like, I think every single one of these, like, characters represents some sort of, like, um, uh, idea of masculinity. There's, like, mm-hmm. the aggressive military. The gang guys, Yeah, too. and then there's, like, the moralist, the strength, mm-hmm. and defending others, and then there's, there's just, the like... There's the Phoebe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I, I think Vern's just sort of, like, that sort of dumb, like, you know, like, I'm gonna go for everything I like. What's the, like, the, the base instinct, you know, of, like... He's, he's basic. He exactly. is. He is a basic <laughs> He bitch. was the first basic, basic bitch. bitch. <laughs> 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 a basic Phoebe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then, like, our main character, like, he represents the innocence of youth, mm-hmm. and he sees that deer and whatnot, and, you know, and he doesn't want to lose that, and he's the only one that doesn't, because, you know, this story is being told from Richard Dreyfus, you know, Mr. Yeah. Holland, and this is his mm-hmm. opus, and he's pretty much, <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he, yeah, I mean, it's, it's over the point of view of an old man of, is telling that this is his childhood. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, mm, yeah, I, Maybe I'm wrong. I could be totally wrong. I'm thinking this about this now. I feel like when I was a kid, uh, people thought I was going to go out and do something, and they just knew they were going to never leave. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. now I'm realizing that I'm like, well, that's weird that people yeah. already decided when they were a kid, like, yeah, I'm just going to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, they've talked to – I hear them talk to my parents, like, now that they're like, oh, yeah, I got her. She's, you know, he's doing – you know, I was doing band stuff before, and people like, that's what he's doing. And they're like, yeah, I always knew he'd get out and do something cool. It's like, like what? Yeah. Just do it yourself. Do like, whatever what? you want. You can do whatever yeah. you want. Like, yeah. what are you doing? It wasn't that hard. I just got in a van and drove four hours. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I pay rent here now. It's not a big deal. Yeah, totally. But people would just resign of like, no, nope, this is what I got. This is where I'm staying. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're from Indiana. I mean, you're from like a yeah, smaller I've... town. Uh, did you, but I mean, were you like... It wasn't this small of town. Oh, not at all. No, Fort Wayne's 200,000 people. So it's yeah. like the second biggest city in Indiana, but oh, it's wow. still horrible. Yeah. I mean, uh, did you have uh, did you have opportunities to go wander around the wilderness looking for dead things? I did, but I hated bugs so really? much. Yeah. I refused to go to the woods. There was yeah. all sorts of cricks, forest, all that stuff. Ooh. Didn't want any part of it. And, and uh, Tommy, you're from the uh, I'm like from Wilmette, Illinois, yeah, suburb of Chicago, like the, the yeah. Suburbs. Like, and I've I've I was uh, lived in Evanston for a little bit. They oh, have yeah. they have like forest preserves and stuff out there. There's some forest, you, yeah, you yeah. You fuck around with dirt, because <laughs> <laughs> the outside's just made of dirt. You know, mm-hmm. right? I've been known to roll up my sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but uh, like I think more when my family we had a summer place in Michigan that we go to, and that place is like all woods. So mm-hmm. if I spent woods time, it was there. I never saw a dead body. Did see a couple of used condoms. Tight. <laughs> yeah. That's the opposite of a dead body. Yeah, that's dude, a body that's that never lived. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's true. Right. <laughs> yep. yep. I, I, gr- I grew up on a farm in the country, and yeah. like we, I grew up on the river, the Missouri River, and uh, we, there'd be dead things that float down there all the time. For real? Yeah. Like we, there'd be dead, dead ass cows just bloated and wow. floating around. And Did like, you poke them with a stick? Uh, poked, a, uh, right. poked, poked a dead pig with a stick once. Really? Yeah, what happened? You, did it titillate you? Uh, no, it was real. It was real. You could tell it was hard. That's like that's a hard pig. It's a hard dead pig. Yeah, it's a hard ass pig. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I saw dead things all the time, and you'd see just like uh, dead stuff, just you know, decaying mm. and yeah. animals with other animals. And yeah. Stuff. No, I found uh, like porn mag in the woods one time. That was about it. I actually, the same thing happened to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, 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 I think this joke has been done to death. Who are the people? Putting, yeah. the putting beating off in the woods and then leaving the magazine. And or maybe they're just fairies, like they little fairy, <laughs> little porn fairies for little boys. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, the tooth fairy, like after dark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tooth fairy does still. What's the tooth fairy during the day? Jerk off in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell your kids that someday. <laughs> Now, like th- uh, another big theme of this uh, movie is friendship. We oh, were talking mm-hmm. about that, like mm-hmm. sort heard of, of it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 like it is, sort of has that like oh th- the youthful strong friendships they never leave us and they're yeah, always yeah. so important. Uh, you know, well that's that, that ending thing where he says like you never have a good as friend as you do as when you're 13 or whatever. Mm-hmm, yeah. No one does kind of thing. Jesus, no one does. I think he says. <laughs> I don't think that's true for me. What do you guys think? Um, no, uh, one of my childhood friends, uh, last time I've heard of him, he was selling meat door to door. That's not still a job. Uh, it is. That means he just got hot meat off a truck. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just, just takes it off the river. <laughs> he yeah. just gets the dead cow off the river and sells it door to door. 
Um, I don't. I'm not really friends with much of anyone mm. that I was friends with when I was younger. Oh, I, mean, uh-uh. I actually still hang out with a lot of people. I hung out really? With, from grade school, yeah. I have two friends that I went to to kindergarten through high school with. That I still hang out with. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. I know it's bizarre. No, no that's yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, well, I, yeah. Um, uh, Francis. I mean, but he's on this podcast too, so one knows him. Uh, mm. the <laughs> you'll find out, Tommy. Yeah, Ooh. he's uh, he's ex he's ex brother uh, from from. Uh, Way back, who reviews movies. Ah. Yeah. And uh, he just has a real special take on a lot of things, okay. which is delightful. Nice. Now, you, you hang out with the same people you did uh, a long time ago. Do you think it's proximity, or like, do you guys grow up and have things in common that you wouldn't if, if you didn't? Uh, it's just this thing. Like, we never, we just never stopped hanging out. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. nothing ever happened. And then, like, we went to college, we went to different colleges, mostly. Uh, one of my friends I went with, grade school, high school, and college. So, but oh, like. Wow. Yeah, we would just always hang out in breaks, and then we got back from school, and we all moved to Chicago. It was like we just kept hanging out. I don't know, nothing. Ever, there was no rift. No, that's pretty neat. I'm not a big rift guy. I don't have a lot of rifts. That's almost <laughs> that's almost like a uh, that's almost like a high school sweetheart situation, but with friendship. Yeah, yeah. because I'm definitely not having sex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, out of all your friends, Tommy, who would you fuck if you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> The uh yeah like did you ever have like some sort of weird uh house in the woods like a tree house a clubhouse I think clubhouses are wonderful uh like I, I always like, dreamed of one but I never had uh, yeah. friends in the neighborhood I didn't really live in a neighborhood so I didn't mm-hmm. have like a friend group uh to hang out with there was a kid down the street who was my age and then he died so then Ooh. I'm living in Stand by Me apparently but yeah <laughs> <laughs> was was your friend Ray Brower he could have been. <laughs> he could have been. <laughs> How did Ray Brower die, by the way? Did you say that? Hit by the train. Oh, uh, like the old 97's greatest hits name. Yeah. <laughs> hit by but a train. <laughs> how, how do, also, how do you get hit by a train? That, you, what was he doing that far out? He was on drugs. He was picking blueberries, oh dude. Oh, my picking God. Picking blueberries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've, all we've all picked blueberries. Picked blueberries. <laughs> That's what the 50s, people were in the 50s were doing. Yeah, strawberry fields forever, man. We yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were taking a few steelheads out the lake. <laughs> That's playing baseball with He's fucking fuck what do you call it? <laughs> playing baseball with post office boxes. Yeah, mm. it ah. seems like the biggest enemy to childhood is trains in this movie. Yeah, everyone's That's getting the real theme. <laughs> yeah. The real theme is the <laughs> trains. John, well, you thought John Henry took them down, but they're back. <laughs> Have you guys seen the sequel to this, by the way? Unstoppable. Have you guys seen? <laughs> <that>? <laughs> uh, the actual original. Uh, title of the story was man fuck train <laughs> <laughs> fuck train <laughs> tabitha king was like steven you have to change this <laughs> oh, give me the listerine <laughs> 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 oh, so he had a hairspray. serious problem yeah. <laughs> okay so we never got actually got to the plot we sort of did but uh these kids go and try to find a dead body that they heard about yeah when mm-hmm. Vern was underneath his porch digging for a jar of change that he lost because he's an idiot. Because he lost his <laughs> treasure map. Yeah. Like, he, what else does he have to remember in his dumb head the, yeah. the, where I put all my money? Come on. And, and his dumb head. <laughs> the 50s were so boring, you had to hide things from yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so where's my change? I'm drawing a map. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a week's worth of fun with this one. <laughs> Yeah, I hate when people say that they wish they lived in a different era. Like, no, you don't. Mm-mm. You yeah, wouldn't have the not internet, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Right? What yeah. would you do all day? Be bored as fuck and bury change. Bury change. change. <laughs> <laughs> or die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just die. And, okay, so they so they uh, figure that out, and then these these kids who are, uh, you know, I, I, mean, I relate to them as, like, children because I was, wasn't the best kid in terms of, like, I smoked cigarettes and was a real... They movie. all smoke cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And where do they score so many smokes? Chris Chambers' dad. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, the p- same place that got the gun. <laughs> Get the gun. Yeah, children with guns. Good. Yeah, how about <laughs> it, huh? That's fun. Yeah, so they devise a plan to go out and find the dead body. And then uh, the greasers, who fo- originally found it, also want to go see it. I believe the, c- the gang's name is the Cobras. The Cobras. As they oh, were tattooing yeah. into each other. In the, the great greaser montage where you're just sitting around that was amazing. shining metal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, hey, cars and broads. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun, scary problem. You right? know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just guys with greasy hair and switchblades. <laughs> <laughs> well, th- this, something I'm sort of like, uh, so sort of understand completely is that the kids 
their like reason to go out and finding it is like maybe we'll be on the news. Yeah. It's like, oh boy, like for a kid, we like, want to okay. go viral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense because kids aren't too bright and like, and their like little universe is the whole world. Yeah. But you think like the greasers, the what are the greasers fucking do it for? The same thing? You'd think they would want to keep off the news. They exactly. want to keep a low profile. They hang out knocking mailboxes with a bat. Like, why yeah. do you want attention like that? I don't know. Yo, real talk, it would be fun to knock down a mailbox with a bat. Yeah. Right? It seems like really satisfying yeah. to just thwack that shit. I think that would fill the void in all of our hearts. Yeah. <laughs> we just whacked yeah. a mailbox. Who needs the internet when you have that, right? Yeah. yeah. Good point. Maybe they should get an app called Mailbox Smasher. Mm-hmm. Or just, <laughs> <laughs> just a fun tap game. That would be a good game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but like, when, when it comes to bullies and like the greaser bullies, mm-hmm. Kiefer is a fucking dick. Yeah. Like, big-time asshole. Like, well, someone told him to shut up or call him an asshole? Yeah. Uh, right? One of the, the main kids called him that, and he, like, went at him. And, like, this dude, this kid's 12. Like, yeah. Oh, I know. Just let it go. He pulls out a knife on him. Yeah. It's like, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking lunatic. Yeah, he wants to kill a child for, yeah. Be, yeah. for being For just mean. a little disrespect outside of a shop. Yeah, Kiefer. Ugh. What's your deal? Very attractive man, though. Oh, yeah. God, so good looking. Oh, yeah. 24. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how many inches he is from what I've heard. <laughs> that seems like a medical ground. issue. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of, like, really uh, really good scenes in this movie that, like, uh, one of them mm-hmm. would be the junkyard scene where they, mm-hmm. uh, you know, where, where they just dick around in the junkyard that they're not supposed to be in. Yeah. I mean, for one point, it's like, oh, they're going to get water, they're, they have to cut through it, but they stay in there. Yeah, they just kind of hang out. They know that eventually someone, the drunk guy who runs the the junkyard is going to run yeah. around with their dog. Also so mean. Talk yeah. about that kid's dad. Like, right? what are yeah. these adults doing? Seriously. Yeah. And yeah, no, they're a small town. Everyone knows everything about everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, your dad's the guy who burnt your ear off and he stormed the beaches of Normandy. Like, your mom is a little emotionally distant, but oh, yeah, yeah, good yeah. Person. Why do you know all this? <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Yeah, the, your dad's wallet's behind the dresser. It fell down there. Yeah. <laughs> Just knows. I've been eating your garbage. What? <laughs> 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 and, and there's the dog that, uh, that. Fucking is supposed to, you know, chase the, the guard dog. Yeah. You know, and there's the the old urban legend of, you know, he, inst- he just doesn't say sick him chopper. He says sick balls chopper. Yeah, mm. yeah. And like getting another masculinity thing. Like, ah, take their dicks off. Yeah. That's all I got is their dicks. <laughs> there's a lot of talk about child's dick in this movie. Yeah, mm. totally. Not enough by my count. <laughs> <laughs> also very similar to the Sandlot. Oh, man. That the fact that it's like thing. the Sandlot, the sandlot the without death. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking. <laughs> I was just thinking about the Sandlot because it's weird that like dog, like legend was such a big thing totally, in the fifties. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't have a lot. They didn't have a lot going. For yeah, them. they just yeah. had nothing else to talk about. I like making maps. I'm scared of dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, wait till you figure out diversity. Then you'll be all scared about a whole different thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, the part with the leeches, I literally walked out of the room. Really? The part where he gets the leech on his dick, I walked into my bedroom. Well, what, I was what, what I couldn't figure out was that, like, for some reason, the dick one is the only one that's bloody. Mm-hmm. Everyone else has leeches all over their body, Ugh. and yeah. they throw them off, which is so disgusting, uh, and really reinforces my stance on fuck bugs forever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm but, with you. <laughs> but why is the blood one on his dick? Do you think that's, like, an allegory for menstruation, like, as in... Like no. <laughs> 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 no, college boy. I think it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, and you're like, is I have that? No idea. Yeah, I'm just confused as to why that one is bloody and the other ones weren't. I don't know how leeches work, and I definitely don't know how leeches on dicks work. Yeah, that scene definitely reaffirmed my like. Oh, I'm never going camping or doing anything again. Yeah, like, right. Hopping into a swamp without checking it out. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Dude. Also, we laughed. Me and Zach laughed really hard when they obviously checked for two feet. Of the swamp with a stick <laughs> and like, oh, all clear, and then yeah, fell yeah, right yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you eat this of entire course. body of water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. And can you imagine like having to walk more with wet socks, which is the worst oh. thing? Ever. That's why I was like, that's the worst part. It's like after that, they're just bogged down with wet clothes the mm-hmm. rest of the movie. Ugh. Ugh, that's horrible. Stupid kids. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the night before, yeah, was it? I think it was that night. Yeah, afterwards they they camp down. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then they're like, we're gonna make this. Our fucking meat pies or whatever they made. Yeah. And Burns yeah. falls in the fire because he's an idiot. Yeah. Fucking piece of shit. God. And then they tell the story of Lardass. Yeah. Which is interesting uh, 
for a couple reasons. One, because this, them, uh, okay, these people, these kids, are a story from Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus is a story from Stephen, from King. Stephen King. Yeah. So yeah. we got the the King level, the Dreyfus level, the kids level, and then you go even further into the Lardass level. Yeah. So there's like a four this is level a weird story. Imagine actually. if you got into the Lardass story and he just goes, I'm going to write a story. <laughs> <And he's> like, <laughs> no! <laughs> Where are we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is a, yeah. this is about a fat Richard Dreyfus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, but then you still see like the reality of uh, the Will Wheaton, Chloe Feldman uh, reality bleed into... Uh, the lardass reality with the boss man, uh, the DJ, mm -hmm. the benevolent order of antelopes. Like, that's all based in their reality. Yeah. Uh, that was super David Lynchy, by the way. Yeah. yeah. For Rob Ryan. Just the way it looked. It totally. felt like it. Yeah. yeah. It had so, this weird, surreal feel to it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was, I guess, real, but also over the top a little bit. Totally. Yeah. I think that's probably the uh, cinema's uh, most famous barfarama, right? Probably. Someone never <laughs> saw Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know of any other Barfaramas that I can imagine. <laughs> um, I don't know if they th was this in Smell of Vision. I don't know if it's <laughs> <out. laughs> Smell of Vision. Yeah, that was disgusting. Yeah, yeah, you said you told me you don't like barf. I don't like barf, so I didn't like watching that. I don't like barf, and I don't like dick leeches. So this movie was not for me. <laughs> yeah, so zero stars. You know, Tommy Mac I loved, literally loved every part of the movie except for those two parts. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty rough. And I love the idea of. Everyone makes fun of Stephen King for his characters being writers, but I like that. I think mm -hmm. it's fun. Yeah. It's like a Jerry Seinfeld sort of situation. Yeah. And it's what he knows. Okay, the actual story of Lardass is there's a guy who's picked on. I didn't know you could use castor oil for nefarious reasons. Yeah, right? You know? <laughs> like, he well, used it for evil. What do you actually use it for, though? I don't know. That's what stuff from the 50s. When yeah. you couldn't find your change, you'd castor oil it. Is that what they ate instead of Lunchables? <laughs> I think it's what they <laughs> ate castor oil. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, imagine if that was totally irrelevant to why he threw up. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a pregame yeah. shake. Yeah, I was just, just like, oh, I'm just getting up. You know. yeah. So Lardass is about to uh, join a uh, pie-eating contest, mm -hmm. and he drinks a whole, like, what is that, like a... Uh, Gallon? That's yeah. not a gallon. A lot. Yeah. So yeah. I would lot. say it was equivalent of a forty. Yeah. A forty yeah. of, of castor, castor oil, oil and yeah. then a, a couple of eggs, like raw eggs. Yeah. Ugh. Then he eats a bunch of pies. Then he starts throwing up pies over everyone as yeah. revenge because everyone makes fun of him. Uh, yeah. And then everyone else starts throwing up. Mm -hmm. Everyone else starts throwing up uh, pie stuff too, which makes no sense. Yeah. No one in the ever. audience ate pies, but yep. they're all puking. Lady puking pie in her purse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the antler guys are getting Ugh. puked on. In the 50s, all the puke looked the same. Yeah. Yep, that's true. Mm -hmm. They had an And you didn't have to lock yet. your doors. <laughs> 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 I feel like you should in this town. Everyone's yeah. an asshole. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> this guy knows about where your dad's wallet is behind his bed. Wait, also, how about fucking Feldman's reaction to the story? What a dick. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> and I would think I'm sensitive as someone who performs, but if, yeah, if someone's like, hey, I liked your set, didn't like the ending. I'd be like, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking do it then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Vern didn't get it at all. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, did he have to pay mm -hmm. to get into the contest? I'm like, what? No, they just what? let him in, Vern. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's Blue him going, Storm. I have to say something. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Did he have to pay? Yeah, what was, it? what was the better alternate ending he gave him, which was the obvious worst ending? Like, oh, he goes, I don't know, he went home and celebrated cheeseburgers. Oh, no, and then he no. killed somebody? He yeah. killed his dad or something? Yeah, he should have brought a gun to school or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, he went home and killed his father and then joined the Texas Rangers. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah Although yeah. I don't know if he means the baseball team I or the law enforcement. The, <laughs> the law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Lardass and Nolan Ryan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, real good bullpen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Lardass pitched a perfect game on acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that guy partied. <laughs> <laughs> What's Lardass doing these days? Eating cheeseburgers. Celebrating, yeah. Yeah. celebrating revenge. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, they finally find the uh, the body, Ray Brower, mm -hmm. uh, and then he's dead. Uh, like, and then, but the, it seemed like they were like sort of surprised that he was dead. Yeah, because like I, once it be became a reality, they were like, "Whoa, I didn't expect mm -hmm. it." Have you guys ever seen a dead body? Yeah, for real? Mm -hmm. Like not in a wake? No, like uh, I was living in Omaha in an apartment, and uh, like 
there was police all around everything. Yeah. And, uh, like, there was this guy that was on a high-speed chase of the police, uh, and he turned the corner, hit a parked car, and flew out no. of his windshield. And, like, sk- like, he seriously skidded his face off, like, 20 feet. Damn. And, uh, like, and then, yeah. Wear a seatbelt, folks. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, that's that's when why you're trying you to get away from the belt. police. Wear a seatbelt. Oh, and then I, uh, and then like, Jesus, dude. I saw him laying face down. You know, I didn't really like see his face getting all. Can I assume up. ass up? Yeah, and that's the way he likes to die. <laughs> 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 that's the way he likes to die. <laughs> and then, and then I saw him, the the police zip him up and put him in the the meat wagon. The meat wagon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. So yeah, you see the dead body. I have not seen a dead body outside nope. of funeral yeah, situations. Just funerals, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I've never. S- I guess. Yeah, I guess that's it, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me about my life. Have I seen? Anything I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, don't think, I think I that's have. it. I hope that I haven't, and I'm not just not remembering because yeah, that would right? be bad, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't see a dead body. <laughs> Yeah, geez. but I can't figure. I can't stop thinking about that lunch I had two years ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> mm. yeah. I think it's just because uh, they were so surprised because they finally came face to face with death. Like, yeah. and even they're surrounded by death. Their whole life is surrounded by death. I mean, because fucking mm-hmm. uh, Gordy, his uh, you know, fucking you know, his brother's old, dead. Yeah. Old Johnny Football Star passed on. Mm-hmm. John Cusack. Uh, I went to go visit the big John Cusack in the sky. <laughs> 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 and then. Uh, and then, like, what's, what's his face? Uh, Corey Feldman. Yeah. Uh, you know, his dad is, you know, dead in some situation, you know, in some mm-hmm. in some uh, semblance of the term. And, you know, he killed a bunch of people in Normandy. And then, you know, just death surrounds everyone. And if you notice, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just. Mm-hmm. And then they finally, finally come face to face with it, and they're fucking terrified. Yeah. Because they're children. Yeah. They're dumb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With a gun. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a weird turf war over a dead body. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, to get this weird fame that no one should want. Hey, isn't that what the Israel-Palestine thing kind of is? <laughs> 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 yeah, I, yep. uh, for some reason, I kept wanting to call Keith Sutherland Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> 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 I'm like, well, I guess that's just me. <laughs> yeah. um, and then Gordy pulls out the gun and is like, this is our dead body. Yeah, which is a bold move. Yeah. And then uh, they call him the tip anonymously because, and yeah. then, uh, which which I guess is sort of like showing that yeah, what we originally wanted was to sort of fame and fortune for finding this yeah. dead kid, but now it's like things are a little different, things yeah. are a little bit more solemn, you know, like uh, well, it's like that line he has, uh, you know, we're looking for a dead body, maybe it shouldn't be a party. Oh yeah, great mm. fucking line, right? Yeah, sort of understanding, uh, you know. What li- more about life, I guess. You know, as a growing situation. Mm-hmm. A, a journey into adulthood in some respects. Because they're starting the junior high. The junior high. <laughs> <laughs> These kids would make the worst Degrassi. <laughs> 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 now, Tommy, uh, you sent us a video of <laughs> <laughs> a music video that you were in when you were a young man. I was a young child actor, yes. yes. And uh, everyone remembers the emo band D- J- June. Do you remember June? I had, I, mm. When I listened to it, I was like, these guys love Taking Back Sunday. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> They're just a poor man's Taking Back Sunday. Yeah. And it was a time period, obviously, every band was named after mm. some day of the week or a, a, a month or yeah. some color of some sort. Color yeah, of some yeah. Sort. yeah. Red so, October, hunt yeah, for Stealing it. September. Hunt for yeah. it. <laughs> Red October, comma, hunt for it. Hunt was for my it. Favorite <laughs> um, but yeah, they did a music video and they wanted to do part of it was like a Stand By Me thing. And I had never seen the movie, but I was playing the Vern role. Mm-hmm. And I was fatter than Vern. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you were a genuine younger fat guy. And I don't mm-hmm. want anyone to take that away from me. Yeah, <laughs> no, they shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we did like we were on some train tracks. We did that. We found a dead, we had to find a dead body thing. But as I sent you guys the video, and mm-hmm. as you saw, instead of a gun, which for some reason they didn't want to give me, yeah, they they had like one of us scare him in a fake bear costume. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so the good. greasers. So I always <laughs> thought that that was how this movie ended. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, when are they coming out with the bear, bear costume? costume. <laughs> yeah. You were in that video. What's up? You were in that video. Yeah, that's why he sent it over. I just thought he was like, I saw a funny parody. I'm an idiot. What? No, no, he told us. Remember, did he not tell you that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Maybe you did. Because that's why I thought it was funny that I'd never seen this movie. Is yeah. because I was literally, yeah. I, yeah. I'm something. the worst. Yeah, he's in the striped, he has a blue and yellow striped shirt. I'm going to watch it again. Yeah. It's yeah, great. Yeah. We'll post it when they post it's the not, episode. It's not an yeah. Easter egg. I get a lot of camera yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, he gets FaceTime. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I love, yeah, I love the bear costume was the, well, gun, a weird no, solution. guns are too much. Yeah, but bears are spooky. Yeah. They're <laughs> obviously a person in a bear costume. Yeah, if you want to know what America looks like if we took away all the guns, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of people in bear costumes yeah. scaring people. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is a weird, subtle NRA yeah. promo thing. Like, <laughs> we didn't have guns. Your kids would be looking like bears. <laughs> <laughs> you can take my bear costume when you pry it from my cold dead <laughs> <laughs> My cold dead paws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Um, uh, but also, yeah, the band's music, not remarkable or rememberable in any way. No, no. Good production value on the video, that's yeah. for sure. They must have had a little money yeah. at some point. Mm-hmm. They had good equipment, good amps. Mm-hmm. It was on Vivo. And I, I wouldn't like, get out yeah. of bed for less than 12 an hour. So Absolutely. <laughs> you were a diva teen. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so this is called Stand By Me, obviously. And there's the song mm-hmm. at the end. Billy Withers. Yeah, oh, okay. You got the Wither Man. Uh, and Which we also were d- discussing in the... The 50s soundtrack. All the songs had a shoop doop doop. I loved it though because I never, I would never fucking find that music on Spotify or anything. So uh-huh. it has to be in a movie for me to mm-hmm. hear it. Totally. You know what I mean? Yeah, American yeah. Graffiti has a good soundtrack with it too. I love mm-hmm. like dip 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 wow. Do. <laughs> <laughs> dip do do dip wow. <laughs> yep. Oh, Sha Na Na. God, do I love Sha Na Na. We like soda jerks. <laughs> we, <laughs> we like we like a dip dip dupe uh huh and drag race in the hot rods dude yep. I had a root beer float for the first time in like years Oof. last week oh, oh my yeah God, damn. yeah what a nice piece of business a root beer float is Ooh. yeah <sighs> underrate you know let's bring it back back when I back when uh, I hung out with the Lost Dredge kids uh-huh. they'd have root beer keggers yeah like they p- that party. sounds fun yeah I know it's like real mm-hmm. sort of innocent dickheads that i knew yeah totally. and and they uh you know just fucking made root beer floats and that was the fun time it's such a weird thing to do mm. in your 20s i guess mm-hmm. part of me thinks that the government is keeping root beer away from mixed drinks because i think they think the country's mm. productivity will go down too much oh yeah because no one yeah. does that and it oh. must be great I, right um m- me and uh, kevin white we have a thing that we'll get really drunk and watch a movie and it's a thing called a white whale that my uh the next girlfriend introduced me to it's vanilla Vodka and root beer. I have to go. It, yeah, Tommy <laughs> <laughs> has an engagement. To it was to. like we, me and him, drank an entire fucking bottle oh and didn't realize God. it. And like in like the next morning, we're like, no, <laughs> 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 like we are fucking dead. We had to be on the radio at like seven o'clock oh, in the morning, shit. and we just watched Repo Man and fucking yeah. Oh fuck, Ordinary fucking people, man. Yeah, and I, I gotta buy some more vanilla vodka. Yeah, because it's a good time. But it's one of those ones where, like, you will drink more than you think you drunk. Totally. And you'll get so drunk, it's so stupid. But, yeah. Hey, have fun out there with the alcohol. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, no. like, and they Yeah, have if you drink too much, you just turn into Vern. <laughs> 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 it's the worst. I got feebed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have the alcoholic root beer, like, actually alcoholic root beer. Have you tried that? Uh, I don't know if I have. It's uh, it tastes good, and then it has the worst aftertaste. Oh, bummer. Yeah, it's like a real plasticky aftertaste. Mm-hmm. It's not that great. But I agree. Like, let's put more root beer and alcohol. Thank you. And, and plus, like, how about like one of those artisanal root beers? Once you pay seven dollars, dude, for yeah. the fucking Virgils or some shit. Yeah. Oh, Oof. girl, so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, next week on Talking Root Beer, we'll be <laughs> 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 we can appreciate a good root beer. I don't think root beer gets appreciated enough. That's true. That's true, though. That's my root beer appreciation post. Mm-hmm. On this message board. <laughs> Things made of roots. <laughs> Bored. <laughs> what else is made of roots? Um, Toby. <laughs> 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 no, he was in roots. <laughs> he he wasn't of roots. Yeah, he <laughs> made roots. Roots didn't make him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Sepultura. I, I, that's what I was going to say. I don't know if you know the Sepultura album as Roots Undo, but... Oh, that's a that's a Circle Lakes the Square album. Yeah. No, Roots is uh, just a Sepultura album. No, yeah. it's a Roots, bloody Roots, Roots. Okay, I want to get off this Roots thing. Yeah, that's good. We should probably uh, finish up. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, Tommy, after all this, did you like the movie? I loved the movie. I yeah. thought it was so great. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I wanted to mention. I love that quote so much that he writes at the end. The uh, friends come through your life like waiters at a restaurant or something like that. Oh, yeah. Something like that. It was great. Yeah. But no, that movie was great. It made me feel things. I loved it. Oh, I love That's feeling. Good. Yeah. That's a good time. Mm-hmm. 
Well, cool, man. Well, I really appreciate you doing this. Uh, is it like can people get a hold of you on the internet somehow? Twitter. Yeah, uh, Twitter. I'm a uh, Tommy M C N A M, or you can just search Tommy McNamara and you'll find me. Tight. Or just search for one of the top tweets. And yeah, you'll, you'll find you'll come across one of his. And a lot of people call me Tommy MySpace because I'm in their top eight. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, yeah, just think about that. That is the worst gangster crony <laughs> name I've ever heard. <laughs> this is Frankie No-Nos, and this is Tommy MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> He's really valuable about 10 years ago. Then <laughs> <laughs> some people don't even know him anymore. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you guys so much. This is yeah. so fun. Uh, well, let's see what Francis has to say. Oh, hi, this is Francis Rowe coming in. Again, for the goddamn review, Pearson's making me do this. Stand in front of me right now, fucking Christmas and shit. Anyways, uh, all right, so, all right, um, stand by me. Love it. Hate it. Couple reasons why. Number one, that's it. Uh, number two, fucking. Tupper babe saw me. Whatever. I don't give a shit about these kids that are like going all along. There's a, like a fake train and shit. Everyone's trying to fucking gain on him. Fucking Vern's bringing a comb, even though he doesn't have any hair, right? And um, here's my thing about it, though. I want to be honest with you. Like you know, like on my last thing about Scream, it looks like Ned Campbell's breast stinks. I said that. I said that online on the internet. It was real. But the whole thing about it is, is um. I'm doing a thing about men. Like, you know when you see a woman, you're like, she looks like she smells like cat piss. And you're like, yeah, you're fucking at. <laughs> you know when a cat and piss. And so you see you see a woman, you're like, you're like, you're like the actress, you're like, man, she smells like cat piss. Or you, she, man, that girl look like she smells like cat piss. Or like her bass things or something. Or she looks like a burrito. Or she smells like a burrito. I always say smells like a burrito. My new thing is men's dick who stinks. And I think Corey Feldman's dick stinks in that movie. He looks like his dick stinks. I mean, like, is I mean, first of all, he got his ear burned off. His ear's already gross. It's all like, I don't care how fucked up and drunk his dad is. I'm a drunk dad. Don't put that on the internet. Uh, but, uh, but I mean, you know, I don't fucking hold anyone's ear to a goddamn stove. Think about how gross his dick stinks. He's all disheveled and sweaty up in the uh, cargo pants all day, like figuring out and fucking chopping, bait shit. <laughs> <laughs> his dick stinks. Period. And um, and someone got a Gordy leech on their shit. <laughs> How can I stop this now? <laughs> it was a good